Hey everyone, in this video I wanted to show you how you can make Zazzle cover photos using Canva. So if you're not familiar with Zazzle cover photos, they're basically like these custom in situ product mock-up images. Now there's tons of ways that you can make product mock-ups like this. Um, I have another video where I showed you how I do it using Procreate, but I found this other way to do it using Canva and they actually have some like free product mock-ups and just backgrounds that you can use for your custom Zazzle cover photos. So on your product pages, you can actually go under listing tools into this media manager. So it used to be cover photo and now they've updated it to media manager. So you can actually add multiple images here and then you can select the primary one like you can see. So that's the image that's going to show up as your main product image across the Zazzle website. So the benefits of making these cover photos is that Zazzle will actually promote your product more if you are creating these custom cover photos. So they're kind of encouraging people to create these and we're busy people we don't have time to spend tons of time creating these so that's why I wanted to show you this quick and easy way that you can make them using Canva which a lot of you are probably already familiar with so anyway let's get started so from my Zazzle homepage, I'm gonna head over to my products tab and I'm gonna actually go into my view public storefront um, view so I'm gonna click on that and the reason why I'm gonna do that is because I want to take a look at my top selling and trending products and those are the ones that I'm gonna focus on first for creating cover photos so some of them already have these in situ images that Zazzle provides and some of them don't really have as nice of a mock-up image. So I'm going to scroll through my products and I want to choose something that has like a nice white background and a contrasting image so that I can re easily remove the background. So I'm just going to keep looking through and seeing if I can find a product oh, like this one here. You can see it has a really nice uh, white background and then a contrasting product mock-up on there. So this one should be a little bit easier to remove the background. So first we're going to go into the media manager and we're actually going to download our our artwork or product photos I'm gonna click there and then I'm only gonna download this one here so I'm gonna click on download so now if you have the pro version of Canva you can actually remove the background right in here um, but I'm just using the free version so I'm gonna head over to photop.com and this is just kind of like a free online Photoshop so if you have Photoshop you could do that in Photoshop instead but I'm just gonna use this to demonstrate and so I've got my product mock-up here in photo P now and I'm just gonna use this magic wand tool and just click on the background and there's actually this tolerance area up here so if it's not selecting the whole background you can increase or decrease that just to um, get the selection that you want so with this selected I'm just gonna hit delete on my keyboard and so now we've removed that background really, really easily. So now I'm just gonna save this as a PNG and import it into Canva. So I'm gonna go to File, Export as, PNG. And I'm just gonna save this to my computer. Okay, so now I'm in Canva and I want to do a custom size. So I'm gonna click over here on custom size and the size that we need is 1480 by 1480 pixels. So I'm just gonna type that in here and create new design. And now we can go over here to uploads and just upload that file that we just created. So now we have our product mock-up here in Canva. I'm just gonna click on it to add it to our canvas and make it a bit bigger 
And now we're gonna search for some backgrounds that are gonna work with our design. So we can go over here to elements and then I'm just gonna search the elements for maybe like a tile floor background or something like that where you might find this bath mat which is in someone's bathroom. So you can see some of the other searches that I've used to find other mock-ups are this table and wall. So this is just gonna give you under photos um, just literally like a wall and a table. Um, so that's a really easy way to find product mock-up for something that's standing up on like a table or something like that, like the lamp. So you can just search for different things. They even have some like free mock-ups that are included with Canva. And then if you have the pro Canva version, obviously they have like way more, but they have like t-shirt mock-ups and all sorts of different mock-ups actually we can take a look at some of those. So I'm going under photos and then yeah, you've got like tons of mock-ups here and yeah, even some free ones. So definitely take a look through here. And just one thing to note is to make sure that the product mock-up you're using is similar enough to the actual product on Zazzle. So you do need to just be aware of that. Yeah, there's tons of these free product mock-ups. But yeah, let's search for our tile floor now. So I'm just gonna scroll through until I find something that works for my design. So it's gonna be like a top down, something with a nice pattern, and it has to be like the freebie one because I don't have the pro account. So I'm just gonna go ahead and look through all the options. So I might just try a few different backgrounds just to see how it looks until I find something that I like. So oh, don't really like that. I want to find something with some nice contrast that's going to make the product really stand out and make sure the product is like the focal point of the image. So you might try a few different search terms just to see if you can come up with more specific images. I could also do like a marble background actually, that could work. And I'm just hitting position and then sending it to the back. So I also wanted to show you that you can go under edit photo and then click on this shadows effect and actually give it like a drop shadow if you want to give it kind of more of a realistic effect. So you can play around with these until it looks realistic. So I kind of like this. I mean, it's really subtle, but I mean, it does work. So I found this one just searching for tile. And I think this one looks really good. Actually, it's more like a bathroom floor and the scale actually works a little bit better. So you want to keep in mind the scale of the background versus the product for your mock-up just to make it look more realistic. So I feel like this is looking pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and download this now and then we're going to upload it to our Zazzle listing. So I'm just going to change the title here I'm gonna name it flip flop bath mat cover and I'm gonna go over here to share and then I'm gonna go to download and I'm gonna download it as a JPEG and then just download it like that so now I'm gonna head back over to my product here and we're already in the media manager but if you don't have that open just open that up again and then we're just gonna hit add media. Now I'm gonna upload my cover photo to this cover photos album that I created. So I've uploaded my file. I'm just gonna click on that. And now it's been added as our primary uh, mock-up image. So if I hit close, now you can see it there. Um, it does take a few hours or like a day to kind of actually update in their system. So as you're looking at your catalog you might not see the cover photo show up right away so I noticed it just takes a little bit of time for that to update fully but now you have your custom cover photo there so yeah that was it for this video I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful and make sure you give it a thumbs up so that I know that you like this type of content and make sure you subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this one we'll see you in the next video cheers